Pretty cool old K here from probably the 60s. A original hide head. I can't help but to think of Roscoe Holcomb every time I play. Great old thud. Everything you need is there. It's the typical kind of skinny neck and long scale, which gives it a good growl. I have no idea whatever happened to the resonator, <laughs> but uh, Roscoe didn't have one either. I kind of rigged something up there for the tailpiece so that it works. It's a really cool tailpiece. It's a really cool piece. I like the original hide head. You can't ask for much more than that. Uh, celluloid binding. It's got pretty decent tuners on it. Everything's rusted over perfectly, as you can see. Just the aesthetics of this banjo makes you want to play old-time banjo. So if you're looking to get into that genre, you can have a good time for half the price. And a uh, <laughs> little pun there. I hope they don't take the video down based on that. But uh, just a wonderful little banjo. Uh, you can play old-time styles on it all day long, just like Roscoe had. Hey, if it's good enough for Roscoe, guess what? It's good enough for you. So I don't have a case to ship it in unless I can come along one between now and then. But uh, again, no idea whatever happened to the resonator, but the good cast uh, metal uh, flange is in great shape. Uh, really cool feature there too. I don't know, that says slack on it. I have no idea. And that really old uh, label maker stuff. Some of this binding, I gotta get some super glue in there. Uh, you don't want that to get away from you. But other than that, it's all original. That's really cool, except for the bridge. But it's all original. And when I got it, I saw a diamond in the rough and I just decided uh, to, to get it. And I've not been disappointed. Kay has these awesome neck adjusters. There's a, a piece online you can read about it, but you can put any bridge, any height you want. I've heard up to two, two inches on it. So Bella Fleck would like that. He likes a really high bridge. These are well-made, American-made banjos. Uh, that's what people, I have another K here that my father had that he took to Vietnam with him, and it's the best K you'd ever want to see anywhere. Same construction as this one. As I understand, it's a hand-rubbed, um, finish. This has a mahogany shell on it, apparently, instead of um, maple, like the other one that I have has. But, um, you know, nothing to complain about with craftsmanship. You get the good American craftsmanship. Uh, every kiss begins with K, so if you're interested, uh, let me know.